Hey guys, welcome back to our server edition LZH project and this is second video of our Apache web server and in this video we will be looking at virtual hosts. So basically what are virtual hosts? Uh, there are two types of virtual hosts uh, we deal with. Uh, one is name based virtual host and the second one is IP based virtual host. So just a little talk about uh, virtual hosting. What you do is uh, let's say we have one IP address and but we have lots of uh, domains or names uh, abc.com, def.com and something like that or xyz.com so uh, let's say uh, we need to host all of these domains uh, with one single IP address one single static address so what we are going to do what, what can we do to do that is uh, we need virtual hosting and in virtual hosting, what we do is we just create uh, different directories in uh, the same directory I told you, like the document root. And or we can give div uh, different uh, directories. But the main idea is you create different directories per the name of your domain or and then you host different web pages from those different directories. That's the simple uh, technique behind virtual hosting or name-based virtual hosting and in IP-based virtual hosting what we do is uh, we give our machine number of IP addresses and per IP address we host different websites it's basically a simple technique and this is simple theory let me explain to you and then you will uh, understand it quite clearly let me go back to our uh, httpd.com but before going to httpd.com let's uh, let's create two directories in our uh, document root which is var www and over here we have this HTML if you remember we created uh, this index.html earlier uh, well we are not going to go into this HTML let's go out of it and create directory lzh1 and lzh2 okay now what we are going to do is we will be serving let's say these are two different uh, websites or domain names lzh1.com and lzh2.com and we are going to put our specific websites in these directories so let me pause the video and I will create the same index.html files in both of these uh, directories uh, with specific names okay guys I'm back and I have created two index files in lzh1 and lzh2 and let me show you the content in lzh1 I have created this file welcome to lz-1-project and in LZH2 I have created this welcome to LZH-2 so you can dif differentiate between uh, both of them so next what we will do is we will uh, give ownership uh, to Apache and uh, we will give ownership like chown-r which is recursive and we need to give it to www uh, this full directory and ownership is sorry Apache is username and Apache group and user is Apache okay and if we go to slash war slash ww ls hyphen ld will reveal that the user and group is Apache for both okay that's good and let me change mod uh, at the moment it's yeah that's fine so read write read write read and execute read write execute read execute read execute that's fine okay so now we will go to our uh, httpd.com directory etc httpd dot Httpd.conf and httpd.conf 
Okay, and now what we will do is let's go to our very last line at the very end. Let me quickly go. Okay. And over here we will create directives virtual host and we need to give the name of the site let's say we have uh, lzh1.net call them example.com and then port is 80 close it then server name and server name is lzh1.example.com next line is document root this is the main uh, you will mention here the main directory where your files are kept that's each one so that's it and close virtual host sorry about that okay and over here we can just add virtual hosts added by so okay next line same thing um, virtual host and lzh2 dot example dot com colon 80 uh, you can change to your real web address over here and server name is lzh2 dot example dot com and document root is slash var slash www lzh2 and we will close our virtual host this is uh, name based virtual hosting okay now the problem is we don't have any dns so what we will do is we will add uh, to our hosts file uh, the setting of our just escape and let's run apache that uh, to see if everything went well Okay, good. Uh, VIETC hosts. Let's go there. Okay, but before, let's check our IP address. Uh, IP ADDR show. And it's 1.2, so let's go to ETC host. And this is totally new stuff. And I'll show you why 192.168.1.2 has lzh1.example.com and the same IP will have lzh2.example.com. Okay, sounds good. Save and exit. And okay, let's. Uh, restart Apache for the last time. Okay, and now let's go to our web and try to browse these sites. Okay, before uh, doing this, uh, need to make sure that you have uh, etc host entries in this server as well because we are not using any DNS so just to make sure that we do have that let's check okay let's check uh, VI ETC hosts and over here we have this but different IP address so let me change it to okay save and exit 
okay now let's browse okay let's browse and I always lose my mouse okay so lzh dash one dot example dot com and it's telling us that welcome to lzh dash one project and what will happen if we press lzh two and there we have it both of our virtual hosts working perfectly fine so that's how we set up virtual hosts in Apache and in our next video we will see how to set up basic authentication uh, like password protecting or password protecting our websites. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe.